यू नो अम वुड ऑलवेज वरी अबाउट क्या कर रही हो एट दिस एज मतलब शादी कैसे होगी दो बच्चे अडॉप्ट कर रही हो यू नो वेवर वॉन्ट्स टू मैरी यू हाउ विल यू थिंक अबाउट दिस वॉन्ट ऑल दो वरीज देयर इन योर मॉम्स माइंड और योर डैड्स माइंड वेन यू टिक टुक दिस डिसीजन नॉट इवन वंस नॉट इवन इंक्लिंग इट वॉज लाइक द स्प्लिट सेक्शन आई सेड यू नो वॉट आई स्पोक माई डैड मॉम एंड आई सेड आई थिंक वी नीड टू गेट द गर्ल्स होम and they said i we think it's fantastic uh that was it in fact if it wasn't for my parents i don't think i would have been as successful in their upbringing as what i feel i've done a job today uh they and parents to them in every certain form of way even now and uh, that is how the whole relationship has been and uh, in fact i used to be shooting in on outdoors and everywhere most of the time so and i never flaunted the girls or i never took them around with me when i was shooting or anything uh they were in school they used to go to school only when they passed out of 10th and they when they came to college then they started hanging out with me and then people started asking questions till then i had not like gone a press conference or something and you know uh, show no see this is what i've done or anything it was a it was a family decision taken and we just kind of went ahead and did it and uh, i think it was uh uh i i i i i think i i like i said i i wouldn't have been so successful if it wasn't for dad and mom because mm-hmm. my shooting outdoor uh, time and all those years it was dad and mom who uh, actually brought them up and took care of them okay so it's a, it was a family adoption right <laughs> yes, yes. Most of it. Uh, Ravina, you have uh, associated with so many organizations and done so many good things. I mean, it's such a long list that I actually decided to kind of read it out. So you've been with the Girl Child with various organizations like UNICEF, uh, Cry, White Ribbon Alliance for Safe Motherhood, uh, Spain, Smile Foundation, and your ambassador uh, programs by PVR for the hygiene of young girls, Mission Sahasi. Which which uh, enables women in self defense uh, and um, you single handedly um, house 30 of often the girls when they were uh, you know vacated from the bungalow that they were all uh, uh, living in so all these things you've been doing all this uh, all this time besides being an actor and you know you what's the best part about it is that you don't talk about it i mean i've never uh, kind of you know uh, read interviews where you're, you're talking about oh i helped this and i helped that and i did this and i uh, you know did this with unicef etc 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 so you've been very very quiet about this aspect of yours and you know the contribution is large is huge uh, considering your busy schedule and everything so throw a little light on uh, on on this aspect of your life kiran ji i feel with with mostly uh, celebrities with successful people i feel god has given us so much god has been kind we've got our name fame wealth whatever whatever god has given us has also been a a, a huge part of society's contribution because of their appreciation because of their love because of the fact that they go to us the cinemas to watch my movie is in a way they've contributed to my success so it kind of becomes a moral responsibility also for people like us who can do it who have the means to do it to go out there and help to make the society a better place to live in hmm. for the generations for the future generations that are there hmm. because it's i i feel everybody in their own little way jitni bhi jiski hai sya to you know whatever their status permits them whatever their situation in life financial situation economic situation permits them they should go out and help and then only i think it can these little little gestures can make a huge difference to people's lives mm-hmm. i can not only because i'm a celebrity that oh i've got billions i know i don't have billions i work hard for every penny that i've made you yeah. know yeah the so, some things of oh, films are hai matlab inke paas to khazane honge it it is exactly not like that and mm-hmm. everybody knows that so the fact being that even if you are a daily wage worker even if you even if you are someone who gets a 3000 bucks salary 4000 5000 bucks salary even out, out of that if you really want to help you just remove 50 rupees keep it aside collect that 50 rupees every month at the end of the month find a 
little orphanage next to your neighborhood in your neighborhood and just go and donate buy buy those children pencils or buy them tiffin boxes or just buy them a uh, simple notebooks you know just even that 50 rupees a month goes a very long way so i feel everybody in their own we can contribute and this can move towards making this world a better place to live in so true uh, i know that you won an award for the best um, um debutant when uh, in your first film itself uh, uh, which of course was our film uh, and i also know that you won another award for a film which uh, which was a very meaningful film called matra uh, um, tell us a little about that experience about matra how did it come about and were you a kind of did you connect to it like you know um, being a woman did you connect to the subject did you uh, sort of i mean you can't identify with it but you know as a woman you can feel it you can feel the angst the pain the hurt of a woman who's been raped throw a little light on that uh, that project so um well um considering that i won some really uh, good solid awards for daman whether it was national award or shool or ux Uh, but uh, amongst all these, to be very honest, I think after Daman, which which uh, right in the uh, you know late nineties, uh, kind of dealt with uh, domestic violence and domestic rape, and it was one of the first movies where we were actually in a phase where movies like uh, you know Oh Mera Pati Mera Devta Hai or Mera Suhag Hai, jo bhi usko mat jaro, however villainous he would be, or whatever the you know the the hero would come on the front and say goli pe le mere ko maro and stuff well this is the first time where a movie like daman came where a woman actually picks up arms against her own husband you know and says to hell with this mera suhag devta hai kind of a thing so that was i think the first movie that really shook this whole and uh, you know was a bit before time and the whole shift started happening about you know women independence and 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 the kind of status and uh, the kind of abuse that they face and time for them to speak up against it rather than accepting it just because of the fact that they had the mangal sutra around their neck or they had sindoor in their forehead you know mm -hmm. daman broke that entire thing and mm -hmm. then uh, after daman i think the second movie that really really hit me very very close to my heart i think is matra mm -hmm. it was already livid and boiling and being a mom of already two girls who were young girls at that time uh, both uh, both my girls are grown up and now they have babies of their own so that's a different scenario but uh, you know young teenage girls or young girls and being a mum myself and my rasha was also 12 or 13 it is 12 was 12 or 13 years old during matra i think she was 12 11 or 12 but uh, the fact being that being a mum to three girls and then seeing the situation of the way rape uh is treated in our country in a way yes it is a heinous crime but somehow what i always felt that the criminals were not were, did not did not fear the law at all anymore because a heinous or a brutal crime like what happened with nirbhaya still mm. over 8 to 10 years I'm, i'm sorry i'm not really really clear i think about 8 years to get justice of what happened yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, that's the sad part it takes so long and in the meantime you know unfortunately with women unfortunately with women it's always the blame somewhere sometimes lies on on them you know uh, it will always be oh she must be provocative she must be wearing odd clothes she must be doing this she must be doing that one never really looks beyond that and i mean in i know that in the north you could be wearing a salwar kameez for all you care and you still right. get pinched on the road or you know get shoved or somebody will just uh, rub his shoulder against you when he's walking i mean you know so i don't think it really has to do with clothes or you know uh, how your or uh, looking or uh, um okay i know that those pretty girls that you housed you finally managed to build a orphanage with them in in basai um with the help of your friends so tell me how did you manage that's really something you know and how did you do it it kind of just uh, uh, they this was an orphanage that I was helping that was close to my house and uh, uh one fine day i think they couldn't pay a rent or the rent increased that was the time and property was booming and the landlord just decided to evict them and these uh, poor there were two three sisters the nuns 
they had nowhere to go with these 30 little young uh, around 28 29 young girls with them so she contacted me and she said you know and i used to help them regularly hmm. so i was about to send them some grains and food stuff and all she said oh but don't send because i don't know where they are going to be i don't know where they are going to go and i said okay come and sit with me and talk to me and that poor sister came and uh, you know she was crying and uh, she was in tears she said i don't know where i'm going to take the girls and go i said i mean <laughs> you know uh, there's no two ways to think about it we'll try and do something together till then you're most welcome uh, to come and live in my house and um, i gave them the keys to a bungalow and they stayed there for over a year till the time we kind of um, uh, made uh, provision for them collected funds uh, made an entire uh, dormitory with a school and everything for them if you have liked our video kindly subscribe press the bell icon so that you can get notifications about our latest videos like and share our video